In this last video about simulation and animation, we show you how we have created the insects. We'll create flies and also a butterfly. Here you can see the fly. It's a very simple object with two wings. And also we have a very simple wig here with three bones, two for the wings and one for the body. And the two wing bones are parented to the body bone. Important in this case is that the wings and the body is just one object. Because we want to add several flies with different wing movements and otherwise this won't work. You can use the same method for the butterfly, but here we have used a different method just to show you that there are different approaches. And due to the fact that we only want to animate one butterfly, the wings and the body doesn't have to be connected. So the wings are separate but parented to the body. As you can see I only need to move one wing and the other is automatically moving with it. And that I've done using the copy rotation constraint on the second wing. Here I enabled invert for Y. So the second wing is copying the inverted rotation of the other wing for the Y axis. Okay, let's start with the flies. I select the armature of the fly, switch to pose mode, and then I animate the wing movement over just a few frames. And then inside the graph editor, I add the cycles modifier to the different F curves. And you can see this modifier repeats this animation all over the time. Now I duplicate this fly with the armature object and then I move the keyframes of the second armature just a bit so that the movement of the wings is just a bit different than from the other fly. And the same thing I do a third time. So we have three flies with different wing movements. Now I hide the armature objects of the flies using the eye symbol in the outliner. That means we just see the body of the fly and the wings also are moving, but we don't see the armature objects anymore. Then I select all the three different flies and press Ctrl G to group them and this group I call flies. Then I add a plane. Here I add a new particle system. In this case we use the emitter type and in my scene I want that the flies are already there so they don't appear from nowhere and also that the flies won't start at the exact same position. I set the start frame to negative 100 and the end frame to negative 1. That means the flies are starting out of the emitter at frame negative 100 and are stopping to move out of the emitter at frame negative 1. So all the flies are already there when our actual animation starts at frame 1. The lifetime I set to 1000, that means the particles are staying for 1000 frames. So that the movement of the flies are more realistic, we navigate to the physics panel and here we enable Boids. And if I play back the animation, you can see we have a nice fly swarm. Yeah, and so we have a little bit more realistic movement, we set the maximum airspeed to 100. That means if the different particles are too close together, they are moving with a higher speed away from each other. And now we just have to replace the particles in the render tab, enable group and select the flies group. And to see the wing movements, you also have to enable the 3D layer with the original flies. Yeah, now we can have a look at the fly swarm and you can see this looks very, very nice. And due to the fact that we have added three different flies with three different wing movements, it looks much better than if we just use one fly with one wing movement, because then the wings of all the flies are moving exactly the same. Okay, now let's get to the butterfly. Similar to the flies, we animate a wing movement, but in case of a butterfly, the wings are moving a little bit slower. Yeah, and the only difference here is that we animate an object in object mode and not a bone in pose mode. 
So then with three keyframes we have this wing movement animation and using the cycles modifier in the graph editor we repeat this animation infinitely. And to add a rough up and down movement to the body of the butterfly we use the same technique for animating the empty object we used for the displace modifier for the plants. As you maybe can remember, that means we use the noise modifier for the F curves in the graph editor. And due to the fact that we have parent the wings to the body with control P, the wings are moving with the body. Now I set the size of this noise modifier to 10 and the strength to 4. This I copy to the other axis and vary the face a bit. And now if I play back the animation, you can see the butterfly is fluttering around. Then I add an empty object and parent the body using control P to this empty object. Take care that you don't parent the wings to this empty object because they need to be parented to the body, otherwise this won't work. And this we are doing because we want this empty object to move along a path. For that I add a path using shift A curve path. This path I can edit in edit mode and also extrude it so it gets a little bit longer using E. Then I select the empty object of the butterfly, then hold down shift and select the path and then press ctrl P follow path. That means this empty object is following the path. The dashed line shows us where the animation starts if you are at frame 1 in the timeline. And now I move the empty object exactly to this position on the path where the dashed line comes from. And also I rotate the empty object so that it points along the path. And now if I play back the animation you can see the butterfly is fluttering along the path but it's a little bit fast. Also the path seems a little bit small, so in edit mode I select everything and scale it a little bit bigger. Yeah, and to control the speed of the butterfly, we simply select the path, navigate to object data in the properties editor, and at the bottom you find path animation, and here you simply can increase the frames to 400. That means the butterfly needs 400 frames to move along the whole path. And if I play back the animation, you can see it's much slower and also much better now. Yeah, if you want to add more than one butterfly, just duplicate this whole setting and change the animation a bit, change the path a bit. Yeah, and this simple, we've added several butterflies to our scene. Yeah, and if we combine everything, we have these fly swarms and butterflies flying around and adding some life to our scene.